we knew that this was going to be a big fish year and um, you know we made the decision to make the movie um, pretty early on because we knew that there'd been a mouse plague and the fish were really big and, and this was the year to make a New Zealand movie. You know, this is the second movie in the Source series. And with the Tasmanian movie, we started, it was a historical context. So the Source meaning uh, Tasmania was the source of brown trout to the Southern Hemisphere. But with New Zealand, we, we wanted to approach the Source theme in a slightly different way. Um, we tried to think outside the box and we came up with this idea of, um, a drop of water landing on the, on the mountains in New Zealand and then the film basically following that drop of water during its, during its flow down towards the sea. The, the reason we really love this drop of water is because that's where it all starts. Without that drop of water, all the, this wonderful fishery and all these wonderful people that, that live buy the fishery and utilise it and their lives revolve around it, without that one drop of water there wouldn't be anything. So we really loved the idea of starting with that one drop of water and of course New Zealand's got this, uh, this uh, reputation for purity, you know, a and there is an incredible amount of really pure pristine wilderness here and we thought you know, what better way of, of displaying that than a, than a pure drop of water. It's just fallen from the sky, almost embryonic in a way. You know, it's the, it's the very start of something and, and hence the source. Definitely the, the, the section that was the most fun to, to film this year was the trophy hunting section. Silvio took it upon himself to go up to the location that we'd picked where we knew the big fish were and he went up four weeks ahead of um, the filming crew and he basically spent four weeks just doing leg work, just finding the rivers that had the big fish and then finding, you know, we had a lot of key ingredients that we needed to really get it right. Clear water, big fish, were they going to come up for cicadas? You know, we wanted to get them on dry fly. We really wanted to nail it. It was just incredible. I've never seen big fish fishing like that before. And we just seemed to get it on one of those days. Pretty much once in a lifetime stuff. Double. There's a lot of opportunities to capture really, really stunning footage, mind-blowing footage. And I, I knew, you know, obviously I live here, so I you know the place really well. And, you know, when if you know the right place to go at the right time, it can almost be too easy. You just need a bit heavy, a bit of stick. Wrap monster on. What else are we gonna do? Nah, he's not gonna take it. I mean, no, just no, chuck another stick in there. It's a Mikey ID. You never know. Mikey ideas might work. Well, that would be very funny if he actually took a stick. All right. It's just hard to cast, but ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Hello. He's coming to a cicada. All right, you ready? Is that a cicada? No. I don't know. Anyway, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. I don't know if that's gonna lay any day. Alright, did he take that or not? He took it. He took it. 
He took it. Yes, he did. He took a stick. This might explain why, you know, when you, if you keep a fish and you, you open him up, sometimes he's got bits of stick and stuff in the guts. Alrighty, this is more like it. I'm not sure if he's going to eat it, it's ever slightly bigger, but... Alright, let's see. Yes, there we go. <laughs> We've definitely taken it up a notch this film. We um you know I guess because this is in on our home turf we're able to take and use more filming gear than we normally would. And that included, you know, camera cranes, dollies, jibs, underwater stuff, a lot of underwater camera stuff. Um, sure. And this movie, we've, we utilised um, helicopter aerials. You know, New Zealand's so beautiful, but especially the fjords, you've really got to get in the air to really get a concept of how beautiful and how remote it is. And we, you know, I knew we needed that footage to really show, you know, the audience, wow, these guys are literally in the middle of nowhere. The objective was to try and get, to try to show a snapshot of the fishery through the lens of other people's experiences. And, you know, I think that's the only way to, to really show the diversity of the fishery properly. We're lucky enough to get, you know, some pretty unique stuff, I think. <laughs>